But Ian, this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world. Whether it's a gun, phone, or car, movies have long helped popularize consumer products. But what about a new technology like virtual reality? Can a film change the speed with which virtual reality is adopted? As Ernest Klein, the author of Ready Player One, predicted at Comic-Con last year. Ready Player One is Steven Spielberg's first sci-fi movie since War of the Worlds in 2005 and is set in a not-too-distant dystopian future in which people spend their time in the Oasis, an entirely new reality that provides an escape for most of humanity. In the movie, VR headsets are a part of everyday life. But for real-world companies like HTC Vive, which is the official VR partner for the movie, one of the biggest hurdles has been getting headsets into consumers' hands. You must try it to understand. Um, you could have somebody tell you all day long about how cool it is, and maybe it excites you, but until you put on the headset, until you actually walk around a space, until you actually interact with objects inside of virtual reality, it's really hard to understand. Many movies have drawn on virtual reality for their storylines in the past, including Catherine Bigelow's Strange Days... Have you ever checked in? ...and David Cronenberg's Existence. But such films were released before the birth of the consumer VR market. That's why so much excitement surrounds Ready Player One. Not only does it have the box office lure of Steven Spielberg, seen here on set, which will help raise awareness of virtual reality, but now you can actually buy VR headsets, such as the Oculus Rift and PlayStation VR, in the shops. Although, pickup has been much slower than analysts projected. Mainly because of the price of the technology and the availability of top quality content. Another hurdle is space. To really enjoy VR, you need a small area dedicated to it. So when you think about metropolises like New York um, or you know Asia, places where people really don't have that space inside, um, you then have a larger uh, you know opportunity to create a successful arcade and generate revenue off of the usage of that. According to IHS Market, at the end of 2017, there were around 9,000 public venues, such as games arcades, where you can experience what's called location-based VR, but 80% of them are in China, with only 4% in North America. So are we going to see more businesses popping up elsewhere other than China as a result of this movie? I definitely think so. Again, I think through arming the arcades that currently exist that are interested in participating in the program uh, with these experiences will drive more foot traffic in the door. Um, driving more foot traffic will drive more people to come in and try the different experiences that they have in there. Um, that will increase, obviously, the overall revenue that that, that uh, arcade is able to generate, um, which will then probably increase the overall interest from business people uh, to potentially create arcades on their own. As to whether increased awareness will help VR sales, well, that depends on the success of the film. It would certainly be ironic if a traditional film experience triggered a boom in virtual reality.